एवरीवन इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव स्टार्टेड यूनिट नंबर वन डीसी इलेक्ट्रिक सर्किट इन दैट वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट सम बेसिक कंसेप्ट्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग आफ्टर दैट वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट डीसी इलेक्ट्रिक सर्किट एंड वी हैव स्टार्टेड विथ किचॉफ्स फर्स्ट लॉ दैट इज के सी एल ऑल्सो वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट नोडल एनालिसिस एंड वी हैव सीन वन एग्जाम्पल हाउ टू सॉल्व द सर्किट बाई यूजिंग नोडल एनालिसिस इन टूडेज क्लास वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट नेक्स्ट लॉ सेकेंड लॉ किचॉफ्स वोल्टेज लॉ विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज मेश लॉ सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द स्टेटमेंट वाइल मूविंग विथ अ स्पेसिफिक डिरेक्शन अराउंड ए क्लोज अ पाथ अल्जेब्रिक सम ऑफ ऑल द वोल्टेजेस आर जीरो सो ऑल द वोल्टेजेस मीन्स वॉट देर आर सोर्सेस ऑफ ई एम एफ्स एंड वी आर हैविंग द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ करंट एंड रेजिस्टेंस विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज वोल्टेज ड्रॉप्स सो ई एम एफ्स एंड वोल्टेज ड्रॉप प्रोडक्ट्स आर जीरो इन अनदर वे वी कैन एक्सप्रेस द किचॉफ्स वोल्टेज लॉ एज वाइल मूविंग विथ अ स्पेसिफिक डिरेक्शन अराउंड ए क्लोज पाथ टोटल राइजिंग वोल्टेज इज इक्वल टू टोटल फॉलिंग वोल्टेज सो वाइल मूविंग विथ अ स्पेसिफिक डिरेक्शन एंड ए क्लोज पाथ दीज टू वर्ड्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज वी आर नॉट एबल टू मूव और टू चेंज द डिरेक्शन वंस वी हैव स्टार्टेड टू सॉल्व द सर्किट सो वी हैव टू गो around with the specific direction and the circuit should be having closed the path now we will discuss about what is the meaning of rising voltage and falling voltage so before that you should know just like kcl that is based upon the conservation of charges this basically kvl is dependent on or based on the conservation of electrical energy so rising voltage and falling voltage okay how we will discuss okay so basically these two terms are related to emf and voltage drop so in case of emf okay if we are just see this diagram if we are moving from this point a to point b that means from this lower potential to higher potential that means there is a rise in voltage so this source of emf we have to treat as a positive in another one if we are moving from this point a to point b that means from higher potential to lower potential there is a fall in voltage so this source of emf we have to treat as a negative so according to this here it has been written plus e and minus e so these two concepts are related to your source of emf now one more we have that is nothing but the source of uh, voltage drop okay that means the product of uh, current and resistance so if we are moving from this point a to point b that means our moving direction and current direction this is the direction of current if our moving direction and current direction both are same then there is a fall in potential that ir product we have to treat as a negative but if our moving direction so this is the direction of moving and current direction so this is opposite you can see over here if our moving direction and current direction both are opposite that time there is a rise in voltage so this ir product we have to treat as a positive now why this is the thing okay because we have seen in the basic concepts current always flow from higher potential to lower potential that means if the current direction is this obviously this side we have higher potential and this side we have the lower potential that means this is positive terminal and this is negative terminal so there is a fall in voltage if we are going from this point a to point b and similarly if this is the current direction in reverse way that means this is the higher potential and this is the lower potential at this side and we are moving from this point a to point b that means we are moving from this negative terminal to positive terminal then this can be treated as a rise in voltage so this voltage drop we have to treat as a positive so these sign conventions for this kvl is very important so while studying or while writing this equation we have to consider all those sign conventions then current direction and moving direction also we have to just uh, set one specific direction okay for this closed path now here one example is given now it has been shown here this is what the moving direction that means the clockwise direction it has been mentioned also if the current direction is not given you can choose any current direction clockwise or anti clockwise that you want but if the answer will be with the negative sign that means you have to mention over there the magnitude will be same 
but the actual current direction is opposite to that of we have considered over here. So, here the moving direction and current direction both are same. So, according to this the sign conventions are given. So, this is positive, this is negative terminal. Again for the source of EMF this is positive, this is negative. By visualization we can see over here for the source of EMF, but while giving the sign conventions for this voltage drop across resistance we have to just consider the moving direction and current direction. Now, according to our moving direction and current direction this is negative terminal, this is positive terminal. Now, same for this one E 1. So, this is negative and this is positive. Now, we will write the equations in terms of total rising voltage we have only E 1 and the total falling voltage we have I R 1 plus E 2 plus I R 2. Now, as per KVL we will combine all those terms. So, E 1 will be so total rising voltage equals to total falling voltage. So, I R 1 plus E 2 plus I R 2. Now, in another one you can write it as E 1 minus I R 1 minus E 2 minus I R 2 that is equals to 0. So, that is also fine. So, as per your convenience you can choose your own moving direction, you can choose your own current direction if not given and also you can write the equation in both the ways ok according to the statement. Now, we will study the mesh analysis just like nodal analysis how to solve the circuit by using mesh analysis. So, the same example here we have taken. So, mesh is nothing but the closed path which do not contain any other loop within it. So, mesh analysis here we have to consider how many number of meshes are there that many number of unknown currents will be there that we have to solve. So, what is the procedure for mesh analysis? First, we have to identify how many meshes are there in the circuit. Then we have to show each mesh current that means as I told earlier we can choose any current direction. Suppose there are two meshes, so two unknown currents we can consider I1 and I2. Both I can consider clockwise, both I can consider anticlockwise, or one I can consider clockwise, one I can consider anticlockwise. As per our convenient, we can choose our moving direction and we have to apply the KVL for each mesh. So, according to the KVL, as I told you, this will be the final equation according to our moving direction and current direction. So, minus E1 plus I1 R1 plus E2 minus I R2 equals to 0. So, this is what the equation according to the KVL. Now, suppose two meshes will be there, then two equations will be there that we have to solve by using mesh analysis or simultaneous equations we need to solve. We will consider our example over here. So, here the current directions are shown already I 1 and I 2. So, two meshes are there hence the two unknown currents are there and we have to solve the circuit just to get the value of the current. So, the first step to solve the circuit will be first we have to decide the moving direction as the current directions are already given. So, my moving direction will be clockwise for this mesh 1 as well as for this mesh 2. So, for this mesh 1 if we apply the KVL how the equation will be. So, minus I into 20 that means here the I will be there here I current will be there. So, I into 20 and why the minus sign because my moving direction and current direction both are same. Now, similarly for this 25 this is very important for this 25 we need to consider I 1 as well as I 2 because I 1 is flowing in downward direction and here I 2 will be flowing in upward direction. So, I 2 is opposite to that of I 1 hence plus 25 I 1 minus I 2 it has been written here. Similarly, for this one plus 60 and minus 120 equals to 0. Again, if you simplify this one, you will get the equation as 85 I 1 minus 25 I 2 equals to 60. Now, here we will divide this equation by 5. We will get 17 I 1 minus 5 I 2 equals to 12. So, this is my equation number 1. Similarly, we will apply the procedure for this mesh 2, but while writing the current equation for this 25, now my primary current is I 2 and I 1 is opposite to that of this I, I 2 sorry. So, here we need to consider minus 60 plus 25 I 2 minus I 1 will be there plus 60 I 2 plus 50 I 2 
minus 40 equals to 0. So, just uh, we will simplify this one, we will get this equation and if I divide this equation by 5, similarly just as equation number 1, we will get minus 5 i 1 plus 27 i 2 equals to 20. Now, I have to solve these two simultaneous equations to get the value of i 1 and i 2. So, if we solve these two equations, we will get the value of i 1 which is 0 0.977 ampere and similarly i 2 will be 0 0.922 ampere and we can write over here current flowing in 40 ohm and 20 ohm is your i 1 and similarly the current in 60 ohm and 50 ohm which is your i 2 and current flowing in 25 ohm you can consider minus i 2 plus i 1 which is 0 0.055 ampere. Now, suppose, suppose in this circuit one current is clockwise and one current is anti-clockwise then it will not be i1 minus i2 or i2 minus i1 it will be i1 plus i2 or i2 plus i1 that you have to take care while writing the equations. Now next we will discuss about the concept of constant voltage source. Now in this DC electric circuit we have seen there are many more sources of EMF Okay, so what is the difference between your ideal and practical voltage source? Because first we need to understand what is the constant voltage source. So basically a constant voltage source it will be having a definite EMF. Okay, uh, it will be having the fixed value of EMF and zero internal resistance. Okay, which will be connected in series with it. So this is what the source of EMF we have and zero internal resistance. So, practically the internal resistance cannot be zero because it will be again changing okay some value will be there. So, we have the small value of internal resistance if it is zero then that can be treated as a ideal constant voltage source okay with a zero internal resistance R but practically or actually we have some small value of the internal resistance. So, this is what the actual circuit we have ok. This is the source of EMF then we have so some small value of the internal resistance and here we have the load resistance. So, due to this uh, source of EMF ok some current will be flowing through this load. If this internal resistance will be having very large value then the current will not flow. So, uh, this internal resistance of this source of EMF it should be as small as possible. So, examples of constant DC voltage source are uh, your dry cell, lead acyl cell and DC generators etc. We can consider over here solar PV panel that can be again constant voltage source as well. So, today we will stop here the remaining concept we will discuss in the next class. Thank you.